That's right. Three biggest brains in Dota, right here. Maybe we could get Clement. We could have like big, big Dota brain party. Uh, I was told uh, it's you, Clement, and me, but yeah, this ended. This is Clement. <laughs> New Clement. Clement. <laughs> <laughs> now, so what do you guys think of the game one, the first game? The Sanking, like, he seems to be too strong of a hero. Yep. Um, so it's hard to understand why, because patch is new and the towers, they move, um, how much that matters, mm -hmm. and pushing in the way faster, how much that matters for the Sanking, but he seems to just get by all the time. And he, bent, he went to double null build, I don't know if you saw that last yeah, time, yeah. and uh, it just seemed like he... <laughs> Alright, that's a bit sad, uh, the Abaddon doesn't get the first blood, because... That would be so good for him as well, uh, and now Void getting a first level. He is dying for him on the sinking. Not on purpose, of course, but it, is, it happens. Course. Yeah, yeah, of course, of course. I just didn't make it back in time for like, uh, the next go. Sanking's weakness is his first levels. Every sinking spammer knows this. Just just get to level 4 as fast as possible. But look at this, he has so many stuns in him now. Like, he has to double. Ooh, he's dead. Sanking's gonna get the bugs on him, and he's just... They're feeding Jackie. The other lane is working out, the, the White Weaver. <gasps> Very potent lane, especially the Weaver, um, super strong, we just talked about Like I was going to say, I think he has like seven stuns in him, uh, seven or eight stuns with his double null build. I haven't seen anyone else do it on Sanking yet. It's, and he has the raindrop as well, it's mostly just for surviving, I guess, but... Yeah, another thing is just his mana sustain. Yep. Like, uh, he doesn't like soaring, which I agree with. Uh, one game he did go for mana boost, so Weaver died top. Weaver died, but mid lane, we might have a Void, void solo killing Invoker, or the other way around. He has the Q, is he gonna turn on him? No, he's just running away. I mean, there was no turning. Wow. He had his W of cooldown though. Yeah, he had his W of cooldown, I was gonna say. He could have either lived or tried to turn, but the raindrop on Invoker probably... And there's gonna be a bottle refill coming out mid. I really like the change that they did, that you only get the... Um, one sip, right? Mm -hmm. You get one sip for free? I think it's bugged. You don't even get that one sip most you of don't? the time. Yeah, sometimes it's super bugged. Oh, really? Yeah. Uh, well, many times I zip out of base, I lose bottle. I, I, mean, I, I, I want to say then it's been bug two for me because <laughs> I got the treatment many times when, it, when, it, when they made the change. Are they going to get him here? Yeah, one more ulti. They're going to maybe try for it. They're considering. The wave is going in. It's going to be TP from, TP from Tide. They're actually going in here. He needs to land his W. He has one second for stick. No need actually. Snaking also showing up. The Weaver might be in trouble. They are so aggressive right now, Tundra. Oh, nine might have overstayed. Yep, he actually did. That was a bit of a throw, but. Weaver going in. <laughs> nope. A nope. bit of a throw, huh? I mean. That was a bit of a throw, wouldn't you say? Sanking potentially on the lane. It worked out with the Weaver. Oh, look at this. He's getting he's getting dangerously low on Sanking. I think he, if he doesn't watch out. Oh. Okay. They're going to get him here. Defensive. <laughs> uh, Hoodwing, by the way, a good hero against Void because of that situation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Forces the Void to think twice even yeah. though he has a Chrono. Snaking bottom lane. They're diving. The DP ulti is still cooldown for a bit longer, but it's it's not. I don't even think they're going to need it for this tower here. That's a standard uh, gameplay from Tone. It's hard. It's going to be a hard fight, right? You have the Ravage. It's you don't DP. have Chrono, but it's the DP and Invoker is also really strong. Oh, look at this, though. There's a big surprise. DP going to get jumped on. They're going to pop him. Hoodwing ulti. EMP gonna maybe do something. Nope, just drain a little bit of mana. But you see, the Senkin doesn't care with the null build. He does not care. They actually managed to defend it. I wonder if this tide was being too much of a of a wuss. If he stood in closer and they just turn with the Ravage and break some of the yeah, combos. They even have Weaver. They had him anyway. So yeah, somebody had to scout the Epic. Oh, they're gonna keep going here. Invoker might be in trouble. Abaddon saving him. Abaddon, what I'm talking about. No, there's no Abaddon on their team. Invoker gets stunned. They actually managed to get him here. Ravage gets used and nothing comes out of it. Tundra are just making plays right now and i feel like boom they're not answering whatsoever yeah just when i call them slow you know they're showing up <laughs> so they have to play the game yeah they're doing I, and it's, it's gonna be extremely strong for the roche fight if you get this pkb oh bottom lane are they actually gonna be able to get get on top of netta here because gush was uh, used but chrono is he gonna go for it there's a blink ready in one second oh oh the time dilation just clips him no need for the chrono Netta's gonna die here it's a very big kill Kind of an investment though, like four heroes chasing him down. Like, no, it's worth it. Uh, they of course, no it's worth it. play of course. on the map. And Evoker already setting up top. top I'm alive. He's uh, not getting any boom, extra damage. I think they already survived the worst part of the game. Playing I agree. against Void Spirit Sanking. From there, this like beautiful lineup. Like the Sumail said. Oh, but again, they're playing around the mid lane. Netta blinks in with the epicenter, and they're gonna actually get the DP here. He's dead. They're playing an opportunity, and they're getting it every time. He keeps eating the epis, the DP. Yeah, poor guy. FPS. And I see Tundra, they're gonna look at the mid tower here. The tide is still hanging around. He is ulti. He's gonna go for it here. But they're trying to pop him. Ravage? Oh, 
okay. They're not looking to fight back, but they do have Chrono. Where's the warrior? He DP'd in. There's gonna be a Chrono coming up. Here we go. Two-man Chrono. Nope. Zero-man Chrono. Oh. Oh, this looks so awkward. Okay, here we go. Mom, he has the Maelstrom. This is so much damage. I'm gonna get the Ravage. He's one more proc. No! The Void is in trouble. There's the Ravage. Void healed up fully, but they're not killing anyone. Abaddon's one HP. Sanking's gonna die here. That's all they get. Ah, that's a bit sad. One more proc on the Maelstrom. He got two. Then the Void Spirit might have died. Ooh. He's by Tundra. Um, Void couldn't find the Chrono in the start of the fight, but it turned out to be fine for them. Yeah, 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 it was about to be a really good Chrono. Yeah. But then, all right, they're looking at the stack. They're going to have full vision. Ultis are all down for, for Boom. Let's see if Thunder find a way to do something. I think the, you, you have to keep a track on Void Spirit as well. Sanking two man stun. Oh, they have to give these guys up, I think. Or no, they're turning. They're turning. Neda's getting low. Abaddon going in. Abaddon still has ulti. Here comes the Void Spirit going in. Oh, and Weaver ulti, full HP, the Abaddon ulti. They actually managed to turn this. I thought it was going to get real ugly real fast, but Neta has died three times in a row now. Died bottom, died mid, and died top. And Spawn another fight, like Sume said. They have their cooldowns. Yeah. Uh, Void going to be pushing bottom lane. I think this is where they're going to be collapsing. Sucks in trouble here. They got the ward. He's going to run into him. Hello. Hi. Bye. And his courier. Nobody hitting the courier. That's one thing Boom does pretty well, the, their vision game is kind of... Oh, he goes for it! He's like, you are here and I'm gonna kill you, there's the Sunstrike. Well, this makes it a bit more interesting, right? I mean, they get the kills, which is really good, and Neta dies for the fourth time. But it does make the Roche a little bit more awkward, right? I'm just going to sandwich them right now. They're going for it. Yeah. DP running in first with BKB, and there's Invoker finding an Abaddon. Not the best target, and kind of uses the cold snap earned, but as we see, they're just gonna abandon him here. Still a very good kill. Because this can lead into a tower top or into the Roche. They're turning here. They're trying to blow up the tide. What are we going to break him? Sanking. Oh, nice silence. Nice Ravage. Void Spirit goes in on DP. DP has the BKB now. They have to run. And we see the Void co connecting really far. Oh, everybody's dodging the tornado. But they're just running closer to the DP. This is not looking very good. Epi. There's going to be an Epi coming. They're looking to turn. But they have to blow up the DP, right? No. They think better of it. All right. That looked way worse for, for Tundra. I thought that was going to be complete the silly. Very good, very yeah. good gameplay, showing the Weaver. And you see here, they're going to see, they're going to see the, oh, very nice. Are they going to ravage for this? No, no, no need. need, just the silence. Uh, and and Sarosh, let's go. Yeah, Neta though. I mean, it was Balls very... Uh, like look at this though, look at this. They need to get some stuns before PKBs go down, and they need to find a way to burst. They still have the Hoodwing ulti. Oh Epicenter man, is still positioning. There. Yeah, 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 but his <laughs> cooldown for 20 more seconds. They need yeah, to somehow yeah. hold this. There's the buyback. They're going to fight this. It's an E-Blade and a Hoodwing and a Sanking. They can definitely kill heroes here. Oh my god. <laughs> Guys, he's somewhere. Where's oh, yeah, the hood? Yeah, insane place. Like he's getting away with that. This is crazy, dude. He hasn't moved. They're confused. Like where is he? <laughs> <laughs> he's uh, actually carrying the roast right now. So hard. Look at this. There's going to be a big Oh, use BKB on DP. What are you gonna go for? He's gonna go for the Invoker. Invoker doesn't get the BKB. There's a good Chrono. Gyro's gonna die. Oh, he's gonna die on Invoker. Oh, Invoker getting away with one HP, and they're gonna turn on Neta here. Neta in trouble. There's the silence. Yep, and they still have. Wow. They still have the Ravage, actually. If he got an Invoker kill, man, that's MVP already, you know? Yeah, but would it, been, would it have been enough for this? Because I feel like it even wouldn't no, have been. It wouldn't. It would have been the only kill it's and he probably already, dies uh, for it anyway. It's already an uphill game for Tundra. <laughs> they I feel it. It is, it is. It's a desperate situation for them. And they're, they're going to have to contest this Roche, but I, I don't know how. The Ravage is still online. The Void Spirit, as soon as he's going to go in, he's going to get Ravage. Just to blink in. Abaddon in trouble. Little Piggy. Nice Tornado. These Tornadoes have been on point this game. Yeah, uh, Yopa is uh, anyway been performing the last few weeks. If, uh, people follow him in the regionals. He's a new superstar on the rise. Do you regret your item build if your voice spirits smell? I mean, the game. According to the game, I would have bought bots because there's no other way to play this game. Thing is, why he would never go bosses because of Sanking. He's actually doing that job already. Stealing his farm. <laughs> <laughs> well, that was, but they're. Tensions are high. Good play by Tundra. Just getting the tower. Oh, that gave away the ward. You saw that? The, yeah. flag, the flag proc, they know that there's a ward behind them now. And there's another EMP. Skitter playing the front line. Yeah, he's doing a good job. He's playing, they're playing very, like, yeah. Tundra doing playing very really well. the proper thing, Tundra. Oh, right Spirit goes in. Forces the BKB of Invoker, and that's a retreat. Very good. Pokey, pokey. No, Tundra's owning so far. <gasps> and now, look at the Abaddon running in. This is like the reminiscent Tundra Abaddon. He's a, the Abaddon is making five heroes walk Look away. Look at another BKB for what? There's the Blink Epi, and it happens on the Void. They have to blow him up here. If he, if he doesn't die, it's really bad. Oh, he gets off the BKB and the jump. And what happens now? We're going to see two, two hero dies from Tundra, and they're just surrounding the Void Spirit. Void Spirit has, has a getaway, but he's silenced. He's dead. 
and that's going to mean the Roche. And there's no way for Thunder to sneak it. If Sankin was alive or Voice Spirit was alive, they could have gone for full Desperado, but now the game is looking real when you go to a Tier 3 in a lineup like this. Do you want to use Exorcism when Tier 3 is full HP, or do you want to do it at a certain time? Like, what makes you want to do it? I think they need to do it right away. They don't have enough building poke. Mm -hmm. Because it might not... The ulti oh, they're actually going to go on this DP here. There's the BKB, they just force it and they get out. I think it's a really good play. They actually managed to trade Tier 2s. But, I say that, no, the tornado again, your is hitting almost every tornado this game, and Neta has been the victim of many kills. Wait a minute, wait a minute. No way, right? Okay, they see him. Uh, he still has a sandstorm. Yopai got his number. Ah. Spending, spending their time a little bit, but it ain't easy. I mean, a lot of cool plays from Tundra. Winning. <laughs> I think if they just went up, they were not even TP based. Are you kidding me, dude? No, they're just they're playing it safe. You yeah. gotta understand them. Like I like to believe we gave them a hard time, you know? Maybe no, it no, set no. them back I, a little bit. I understand the same, but more action. Like, you really don't want to throw this game. If they throw this game, the series is over. You think so? You think the mental damage would be too hard? Yeah, I believe that. You wouldn't yeah. take the win out of this game? Um, it really depends on their mindset. I don't think oh, everybody. Little squirrel like that. man. He's, got, he's better hide, dude. Like, look at the amount of spells. <laughs> 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 Poor guys, I feel so bad for these Thunder heroes, right? They're all living in the trees, just running around, like snaking. So like if anything, uh, the double use for Thunder, they're delaying the game properly. Um. Yeah. But it's an uphill battle, and like you said, the scaling. I mean, look at this, everybody's hugging a tree, it's like, it's leave me alone, Jackie. there's the Chrono, is it going to be enough damage? The BKB gets off in time, but look at the attack speed of the Void, it's so much, it's way too much. And they don't even get to react from bottom lane. They were yeah, going I mean, in the Invoker. I don't think Void lacks this attack speed, so we're going to add the talent, <laughs> which gives them a moon shard. <laughs> More, right? <laughs> Make a move now, and that goes wrong. <laughs> and then Thunder gets the Roche. That's when it's like, oh shit. Yeah. Oh, smoke oh, into smoke. The DP is the first stun here. They need to keep stunning him. They can actually kill him here. Oh, A on disc. No way to play. And Abaddon again being left alone. They're trying to kill the squirrel. They're not going to get anything by the looks of it. Nether might get a good epi. There's a stun. That looks really weird. That's very desperate. Oh, they're going to go for the Void kill. They need more stuns. They need one more. No, he gets it off. And there's a buyback from Hoodwink, which isn't going to do much right now. They need this Epi to happen. Epi's still on cooldown. Never mind. Tundra goes. Tundra's going to fight back. There's a BKB on Gyrocopter. He clicks the Satanic, full HP, but no damage coming out. Not enough. And they still have the... They still have the... Slowing in on Invoker. Oh, they don't have shit, actually. <laughs> <laughs> that was very good smoke by Tundra. Um, good try. Uh, Could have worked. Uh, yeah. A on disc though. Uh, the A on disc. I didn't even see it coming. I think he just picked it up. Very good uh, itemization by FPZ. I think yeah. Boom is the only team who's playing this item still. A on disc. Yeah, it received some heavy nerfs a couple of patches ago. Uh, with like, A on disc? Yeah, yeah, with like cooldowns. But it still does the job whenever you need it, it to do stuff like this, right? I mean, it's like it's an item like when you're winning, you win harder, you know? <gasps> or if they have only one way of playing, which yeah. is like to blow you up, then it's the best They're item in the game. Be. And there's a satanic finished on Void. FPC playing extremely ballsy, like no HP. Saxa, Netherlands oh. coming into play. Let's see, they need a stun on him. They're gonna get it here. They need some damage. They need some damage. Gyro gets oh caught off by the, the tornado. The tornado. Oh, there's the Chrono. Let's see, 120 attack speed, baby. Any way to survive? Nope. That's a double your Chrono right there. That's the win, baby. That's the win. Gyro no buyback. Abaddon going in. There's desperation coming up from Voice Spirit trying to get the Invoker. GG. Abaddon calls it, and that's cricket. And a tip for Jackie. I mean, I think this Void getting that start was little, little rough, huh?